Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Monday, September 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing gold, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on gold, it's very obvious to me that this is a big one, two, and wave three. We are at the 178.6, which definitely could be the area where this makes a wave four, and then goes back up and later on and makes a wave five. But like I've been explaining for the last couple of weeks, wave threes do not have to stop at the 168, 178. They can go way, way, way beyond that. So don't think that it's over just because it's at a Fibonacci level and we're at all-time highs. All-time highs can continue to make all new all-time highs for a very long time. So going down to the weekly time frame. So like I said, we are at a Fibonacci level. Maybe it's going to go down. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. For me, the break of struts is right here. So if price goes down and breaks that, that's what's going to tell me for sure that this wave three of, or the wave five of wave three is completed, that we're going to go down and make a big pullback for that wave four, like I sold on the monthly. But until it actually goes down and breaks structure, or makes a significant lower high, the trend is definitely up, and there's no reason to think that this might not just make a little pullback and just keep on trending up. So, heading down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I got my Fibonacci extension now on this last impulsive move up, projected off the bottom of this last correction. We're actually right in between two Fibonacci levels on this time frame. So, like I said, that kind of gives me a lot of confidence that maybe this uptrend is not over. You know, maybe it is going to be a pullback day, maybe a couple pullback days, but the trend is up, and I don't see any reason to think that this trend won't continue to trend. So going down to the 4 hour time frame. Now on the 4 hour time frame is where you're starting to see this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shape with a structure level right here. So if this goes down and breaks that structure, I would instantly throw my Fibonacci retracement from here to here. Now, based on the higher time phase, I would always be expecting anything to the downside to be a crescent to the last wave up, just like this right here was a crescent to this right here. So if it breaks to the downside, I would throw my Fibonacci retracement on there, and I would look for three waves down, I would look for impulsive up for the continuation of the uptrend. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, the trend is up on literally every single time frame, even the four hour, even the one hour time frame technically is in an uptrend. Now if it breaks this structure right here, then I, like I said, I would throw my Fibonacci retracement on the whole move up. And if it breaks this, I would look at the first move down as either being a wave A or wave 1. I would look to see a crescent to the wave A, wave 1, wave B, or wave 2. Then that's when we're going to have to try to decide whether it's a crescent or whether it's a reversal. If it goes down like this, makes a wave C, bounces off a of Fibonacci retracement level, and then continues up, then that's definitely a long opportunity. And while you're watching it, if it never breaks structure, if it never does this, but instead it just keeps on making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, then that means that it's a one, two, three, and that you should just hold on to your sorting opportunities and maybe even add to the position. So, anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked out here in the corner, and as always, thank you and happy trading.